This is Newsbeat. All Blacks welcomed by huge crowd. Quake strikes Solomon Islands overnight. And in sport, Sevens organisers put fans first. Kia ora, good morning. I'm Grady Connell for Newsbeat. The All Blacks have been welcomed by a huge crowd on their arrival in Samoa today. And there's expected to be another big turnout for a street parade in Apia today. The island nation is buzzing. But as TV3's Jim Kayes reports from the sweltering Samoa, tomorrow's game will be tough on the players. It's going to be very hot and humid. I stood next to the swimming pool yesterday at about 3 o'clock and all I could do was just topple into it because it was so hot. How these guys are going to play rugby, I don't know. A 5.8 magnitude quake has struck off the Solomon Islands last night at around 12.30pm New Zealand Standard Time. But there are no reports of damage and no tsunami warning was issued. The quake hit at a depth of 8.9 kilometres, 92 kilometres from Caracas and 334 kilometres from the capital, Hirorina. The Solomons are part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, a zone of tectonic activity known for its frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. And in sport, Wellington Sevens organisers have made changes to ensure the fans are put first. Ticket prices now start at $37 and, now, and there are now seven different options to choose from. General Manager Steve Dunbar. We have people that go there because they're a party goer. We have people that go there because they're rugby enthusiasts. And we had a lot of success with our family zone last year. We had more than 1,000 people on there. That's News and Sport for Newsbeat. I'm Grady Connell. For more news at any time of the day, check out newsbeat.kiwi.